Hey guys, today's video, I simply want to talk about one thing that I really think everybody should look into doing should you start to get a nice collection of headphones, whether it's a Meze Empyrean 2, Dan Clark E3, maybe a ZMF like I've got sitting behind me here, or any other headphone that is special to you. There's one thing I think you should add to that to make it just a little bit more special. The Grumpy Goose Headphone Stand. Yeah. All right, if there is one comment that I typically will get on a lot of my videos on headphones, it is, what headphone stand is that? And yes, they are always referring to the Grumpy Goose, but actually they'd be referring to that one because this one here is brand new. Now today's video's purpose is to talk to you about the creator behind the Grumpy Goose, how you can go about ordering one of these, and also the different types that you can find with the Grumpy Goose headphone stand. So let's talk about the creator first, Mr. Chris O'Neill. Hey everyone, really quick, if I can grab your attention, my 2024 resolution is to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you haven't done so already, please join the channel, like the videos, and support me along the way. I also have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there as well. I would highly appreciate that, guys, and I will let you get back to the video. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna tell you about Chris O'Neill is I am gonna put all of his links down below so that you guys can follow him on social media because that is the best way to get in on one of the drops whenever he has these headphone stands available to order because I gotta tell you, these things sell out faster than Pokemon cards. I mean, it's fast. All right, so starting with cost, I can tell you that Chris is based out of Canada, so he has Canada currency on his site when you go to look at that. But I can tell you from a US dollar standpoint, they're gonna run somewhere around 250 bucks. This one here was actually about 240 and some change, but I do remember this one here was a little bit less and that was a couple of years ago. So I can imagine inflation, things like that, you know, the cost is probably gonna go around that 250 mark on up also depending on the kind of wood and different things that he uses with these stands. I will tell you just a rundown of the wood and I've got a site pulled up here just so we can kind of run through that really quick. So these do come, now this one here is actually a Bacote and they also come in black walnut. He has made Wenge, he has made the Caribbean Rosewood, he's made Babinga. I'm sure there's been some other woods available as well. And then you'll see this tip here. This is actually an ebony tip on this one. Now this one here, I believe was a rosewood tip. Don't quote me on that. I don't have my hoarder page pulled up from when I got it, but he does different tips on these. You're also gonna notice the base on both of these are different. This is a rounded base. This one is a squared off base. This actually is an option that he has when you go to order one of these is the type of base that you want, but you can definitely tell like this one's about a year and a half old. This one is brand new. It's morphed a little bit and changed a little bit as he's, you know, kind of progressed over time, but he spends a lot of time perfecting his craft on these and big props to that. So I did ask him a couple of questions that I thought you guys would want to know. One thing I asked was, when did this start? How did it start? Well, he said it started back in 2018. He just wanted to create a headphone stand for himself and he did. He had a lot of people that kind of grabbed some attention from that, from pictures and things. And so then by 2020 is when he first started selling these. So these have been around almost four years now. And if you think about that, these are starting to pop up on other channels. Other people have, you know, shown off their Grumpy Goose stands. And I think it's becoming more and more popular in the community with audiophiles and headphone collectors and things like that to have one of these stands. Now, I also asked him about how long it takes him to make one of these. And he's told me he's got it down to about six hours, which I was kind of impressed by that because I mean, there's a lot of craftsmanship that goes into this for six hours. And he kind of has it set up now to where he can do almost like an assembly line ordeal so he can make a bunch of them at once through a day or through obviously a few days and get them ready. Now he does let them sit for at least a week so that they can dry and be ready to be bought. Now, a couple of things I wanna run you through on the stand itself pretty straightforward for a headphone stand, right? But you do see this little guitar pick that's hanging here. This is actually to hang your cable, which I really dig this about it because a lot of us that have 
nice headphones, we might have a nice cable to match it. This makes a beautiful display of that. I have an Otour Classic from ZMF that's purple and it has a purple cable to go with it and it looks absolutely beautiful on either of these stands when it's hanging from that. Also, I will tell you that Chris has a limited edition Mother Loki stand and you need to check it out because this thing is beyond gorgeous. It is $5,000, but that's only because of the, all the materials and the collab he did with Viking Weave Cables. You also get a cable along with this, but the stand is an ebony wood stand. He's actually got green opal inlays into the stand. It's got a copper base to give it some weight. The craftsmanship on there is just, it's extraordinary guys. And I can understand why he's charging $5,000 for it. And it is still available. If you have some big high-end headphone that you just want to display on it, or you just want to display it and own it, check it out on his site because it is still available to order. And I wanted to give him a shout out for that one as well. By the way, guys, Chris has not paid me to say anything in this video. He didn't even know I was doing this video until today when I reached out to him with a couple of questions. So I just want to really give the guy some props for what he's doing for this community that I so much love and enjoy. There are other stands out there that are also beautiful, I got to say as well, especially things being made of wood. ZMF comes to mind. I do have a ZMF stand. I believe it's called a Solaire. So I'm popping that up so you guys can take a look at that. I'll put the link of that down below as well, just because those will be more available to buy more so than this stand. But I still got to give Chris his props for just the gorgeous headphone stand that this is. And I would highly recommend anybody getting in on one of these drops. It's a lot of fun to kind of try to beat the competition to buy one of these. And I guess you could say I now have a geese collection because it's more than one goose. And before I end this video, I would like to leave you a quote from the man himself, Chris O'Neill, when I asked him about why he started this. He said he likes music, audio gear, and wants to make cool shit to go with it. Well, Chris, you've accomplished that, my man. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If so, please smash that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel because I've got other fun things right around the corner to talk about. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. These don't poop like geese do.